Okay, so we're now in Excel, and we're going to um, make a plot for the fractional composition of a monoprotic acid, HA. So we've already derived the equations for at a given pH and a given pKa, um, how much of, of each species do we have? And then we're going to going to make this plot. <clears throat> so one thing that we need is uh, a pKa. So that's going to be set for the whole problem, so we'll just call it 6 for now, right? But you can adjust this to whatever it, it actually is. Um, and then we're going to get a set of values at various pH. Now, our equations will depend on the difference between pH and pKa. And so we can put that right into our formulas, or sometimes it's easier to actually produce uh, another uh, value, another cell. And so delta is, right, is pH minus pKa. And I want to hold pKa value, so A dollar sign 4, then I can get uh, alpha HA and alpha A minus for the fractional compositions of those two species. These are the equations we derived that use delta now, so 1 divided by 1 plus 10 raised to the delta. And as we expected, it's it's almost, it's basically 1, right? And so here, this should be close to 0. <clears throat> because alpha A minus is 1 divided by 1 plus 10 raised to the negative delta. Right, which is actually 10 to the positive 6. So this is 1 over 1 million and 1. So that's small. <clears throat> Let's just run a bunch of pH values and we'll, we'll just go. So if you highlight, if you have at least three and you can, then you can extend this without having to type it. So um, we can drag the corner now and you can see there's a little marker that tells us what value we're at and each time it increases by the difference that we set. We'll go ahead and set this to 14. As you know, pH can go less than 0, and it can go greater than 14, but that's a standard range. Um, and then we will drag these down and carry the formula. And at a pH of 14, we have essentially 0 HA and 1 for uh, A minus. That's kind of what we expected. Uh, I'm going to move this over. I don't really need the title, but I want to be able to highlight the whole column, and I kind of made a mistake of putting a title there. So, um, <clears throat> you notice I had formulas referring to all these cells, and I just moved everything, but all the formulas adjust and move with you. So that's that's nice. You can see that um, everything moved over, uh, unless if, um, but it's still this one's like still referring to A, so it still works. Because now I can highlight pH, and then I'm gonna on my Mac and do Command. I think on a PC it'd be Control, but I want to highlight these three columns and insert recommended chart. So it gives me some different options of ways that you could kind of sort this. This one right here is the one that we want. And we get exactly what we expected, a very nice fractional composition diagram. <clears throat> a few things to note, right? Um, where they cross is at pH of 6. 
right? Because when pH is equal to pKa, the uh, two concentrations are equal, and they're both equal to 0.5. And then um, we have almost all HA for a while, and we see them basically swap. So you can add some features to this, make it look like an actual plot, uh, nice figure. There's our title. I want to add chart elements. This is the uh, fraction of each species. I'm going to add a horizontal title, which is pH. I have um, <clears throat> a legend here. At the bottom, we can you can adjust where this where you want this to be. Okay, whatever you want. Maybe. Whoa. Don't want that. I hit undo. <clears throat> and then there are other things you can adjust the axes. Okay, between like 0 and 1, 0 and 14, but this looks pretty good. Alright, and then of course, here, here's, the, here's the, the power of what we've just done. Right, we can change pKa, and you see everything adjusts and shifts, right? So the effect, the only effect here is just that it shifts where where the the crossover is, but every, everything else is identical, and so the problem doesn't change. <clears throat> and, and again, once you have this, it really saves all the calculations, right? So if, if you want to know what's at, at a pH of, you know, pKa of 5, and you have a pH of 4, uh, how much HA do you have? Well, you just go look at your data and it's right there. So you don't have to go and do calculations over and over again. It just does it all for you. <coughs> okay, so there is uh, the monoprotic. And this looks like figure 12.8 in your textbook. All right, we'll stop here.